So I just got done baking these from scratch and they turned out so good today. I'm super excited and happy Monday fun day. Well, let me explain what I mean. All right, so as I was explaining, so I work this following weekend. Uh, so I have Monday, Tuesday off. That means I had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. A nice little four-day weekend, which we're here for. I love a long time off. Luckily, I have Indigenous Peoples Day off on that following Monday. Otherwise, the next two weeks would be super incredibly long. So I am thankful for that. This has been such a nice weekend. It's been very busy. Do not get me wrong. Do not mistake it. Because what did we do? So what you saw last week, we ran to Indiana Friday night. Got our hair done on Saturday, drove back to Chicagoland on Saturday afternoon. Just like a four hour trip coming back because of course you have to lose an hour, gotta love time zones. And then Sunday we met up with Elgem and we did some Birkin brunch and shopping around. I don't know if I mentioned it in my vlog last week, but we met the most amazing SA client advisor, whatever you wanna call them, at Burberry. Oh my God, like she was amazing total fan of the brand knew her stuff and it was just kind of fun it's fun when you work with somebody who like knows the brand knows the history knows the romance we clicked so if i ever need to buy burberry i'm going back to her and that hobo you guys do i need it it's 3400 so i mean i could get another like lindy or something for that price point but that night's head hardware was out of this world. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, we had an amazing client advisor at Louis Vuitton, an amazing advisor over at Coach. So it was a really fun afternoon and I just, I enjoyed it 100%. Today we're relaxing. My husband's over there playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Again, I know, right? There's some things I need to get done around the house. I really need to tackle my closet, organize all of that and a ton of jewelry I need to put away. Oops, does anyone else do that? Like you take something off and you just like lay it on the shelf. I'm like, you know, this legitimately needs to go back into a, a safe place. Anyway, so today's kind of an around the house day. I know we need to run to Woodman's and get more coffee. I mean, everyone needs more coffee. And yeah, it's gonna be a chill weekend. Like Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna pretend it's a Saturday, Sunday just to make things more continuitous, but it's gonna be fun. So stick around, let's do this. All right, so today the big task my olive garden t-shirt but today the big task is fixing the studio area so this space this is the den which we've kind of you know named the studio this is where i've been filming lately not loving this setup it's a lot of fun having this cute little glass shelf it's from ikea i'll link it down below to store some bags but as you can see like i think the kelly and this fendi.com are probably the biggest bags i can get to fit in there and make them look good, which is not a vibe. So we bought some lac shelves from Ikea a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna hang those up behind me. And we also plan on getting some more chairs. This uh, Chippendale used to sit in our entry hall. I have a pair, the other one's in the library now. And as much as I enjoyed the idea of having clothes behind me, so these are from the Gucci runway. I wanna say this is probably Cruise 2019. I have a lot of jewelry from that runway as well, as is this. And I have the cerulean blue velvet version of this as well. This is um, Giorgio Armani runway. I thought it'd be more fun to switch out the clothing hanging behind me, but it ended up being a lot more work than was worth it for the payout because I'm so tall. So when I'm sitting here, I'm like covering up the majority of what's behind me. So it just doesn't end up looking that cute. And yeah, so hopefully this is all gonna change. Eventually I wanna repaint this wall behind here, but I have to figure out like what works best for me, what's gonna work best for Zane's channel once he launches it. So we'll figure it out, but we're gonna hang some shelves and I'm gonna check in and show you how it looks here in a minute. Also, side note, I only bought two of these. We went back when we were at with the Elgin at Crate and Barrel and I tried to buy two more of each and sold out. <laughs> so I guess I'll try again next year. Last time I crossed this river, I went right up to my neck. Cold enough to cause a shiver, it'll steal away your breath. I came here to seek a fortune about 15 years ago. 
But I watch it all sink deep into the unrelenting snow Way up high, way up high I've been losing myself amongst the rubble and the dirt This way is paved with sorrow and the ruin and the rest It's been doing so much, taking even I'm not sure what's left Way up high store because god forbid you ever do a small household project and not need to go to the hardware store somehow i ran out of like the screws for all the anchors but tons of anchors left but lord knows what i did with the screws so on our way we need to clean off all the dead bugs from traveling to indiana the other day not a vibe but zane's cleaning those up now and then we're gonna head to the hardware store and i told him like i'm gonna get a milkshake or a frosty i don't care what it is it's gonna happen so wherever we go sure that the spider up on the roof rack was on Zane's car in his mother's driveway back in Indiana which means it's come from Indiana to Illinois down to Oak Brook back home and through a car wash and he's still hanging on. Did you tell me? I did. I got him. He's a cute little guy. Jesus. It's been a long weekend. Crazy. <laughs> We're both a little worn out. Just a tad. You want to tell him about your dream? Oh yeah Zane found this inside of what is this, Ricky Rockets? Yeah, gas station. Gas station. It's very intense. Has anyone had this yet? Like, this pumpkin is very, very... <laughs> it's a little over the top. Too spicy. Too spicy for the pepper. Anyway, let's go to Home Depot and get an ice cream treat.
I just thought it'd be easier than trying to find like screws that would work. Mm. We need anchors anyway for more stuff. So what are we doing now? Are we getting ice cream? Well, that's what you wanted. Well, what do you want? That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tired, you guys. It's been a long weekend. I'm very tired. I thought I'd want to film tonight. No. No. I'm Too tired. tired. Too tired. And we didn't get to finish our movie. So we started Ordinary People last night. Had a bit of a an emergency. Had to figure something out. And didn't get to finish our movie. So maybe we'll do nothing that tonight. Nothing serious, though. No. Well, yeah. Nothing serious. The drama. <laughs> um, well, you're just leaving them there. Like, oh, an I, emergency. I didn't mean to. Maybe clickbait. Like, oh, drama. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm ready for some ice cream. I'm going to call it dinner. Maybe. No, you'll probably have that and then eat some more. Wow, I'm feeling a little bit attacked. I mean, my hair is feeling attacked. That's the As it should. <laughs> no, mine's not doing very well today anyway. Right but I mean, I wasn't going to be the one to say it. <laughs> okay, let's get to some ice cream, get this shelf hung up, and then I'll show you guys the end results. to Wendy's because your boy wanted a nice Popped picture. In, we, drove through. we drove through. How modern of us. Oh, no. And uh, Zane notices that they have pumpkin spice and me being the basic that I am. Mm -hmm. You see where he this is going. It. I got it. I got it. So let's do a little taste test. Mm, my phone. Ew, no. Not mm -hmm. on this channel. Not on this channel. We're not. No. Here's the chocolate frosty, guys. Ooh. I'll show the color to them at least. <laughs> yeah. It's very orange looking. Uh oh. I think he's regretting his decision. I don't hate it, and this is very niche, and only Fort Wayne people from the 90s will understand. But Glenbrook Mall had the Johnny Appleseed hallway that was like all mm -hmm. cobblestone and had like the, the candle maker, the soap maker, and it was like very, you know, pioneer retro because apparently Johnny Appleseed was yeah. there. This tastes what that hallway smelled like. Okay, I'm curious now. So you have to try it. Kind of smells like it too. Mm hmm Well then, flavor intensifies. Mm hmm So I feel like after I get through this, I need to stop at Hickory Farms and get cheese samples. Oh, cheese samples this time. <laughs> right. We'll have a cheese sample. So all like two or three people from Fort Wayne who may watch this. Let me know if you remember the Johnny Appleseed hallway, and I'll pop up a picture or something too so everyone else gets it. They just put that in a cup. <laughs> they bottled it. They bottled it in my childhood. I've decided though that this pumpkin thing tasted like Red Hots, the little cinnamon candies. It's like, okay, I get it. Red Hots, like Red Hots in a, in a bottle. Pumpkin things are very hit or miss, and my favorite pumpkin thing ever was the Dairy Queen pumpkin shake. Which, to my knowledge, they have not had in a couple of years, and it really makes me mad. There's the pumpkin pie blizzard, but no one wants that. I just wanted the pumpkin pie shake. Oh, I saw what I said, safe space. How's your frosty? It's chocolate. It's chocolate. I'm a basic bee, and I like my chocolate. What can you do? And I mean, while we're out here, we might as well hit half price, right? studio setup and look now I can have multiple bags and pieces of artwork books it's gonna be a whole vibe I'm liking this a lot more than what we had also Zane picked out some movies over at Half Price Books so let me show you what he got all right so we got Mannequin it's one of our favorites Texas Chainsaw Massacre believe it or not I have never seen it so and Halloween 2 
Okay, so I finally have my shelves set up for today's shoot and I could not be happier. Like doing these lag shelves was such a good idea. So basically I'm just gonna be like seated probably right over here-ish talking about bags. And today's video we're doing men's bags. So my, my top favorite men's bags for 2023 fall season. And I, you know, not to do my own homework, but I picked some really good ones. But for that photo shoot, I wanted to go for kind of like a chill, masculine, very like, earthy vibe. So I picked some acacia wood, black and gray bags for the top shelf, some fragrances. Bottom shelf, we're telling like a green story here with the Gucci fan, my Hermes Birkin, hello vibe. And just like really, you know, chill, minimal vibes. It's kind of making me miss working in retail and doing fashion merchandising, but it's a vibe and I cannot wait to see what this actually looks like on video. So full transparency, we haven't done a whole lot today. So this is probably one of the most boring vlogs I've ever posted. Well, it's a pretty low bar, but <laughs> normally we do a lot more. This this weekend was a little bit more chill. Anyway, I did film my video for Wednesday, my men's bags picks. That Burberry night bag needs to be in my closet like ASAP. It's like almost five. I'm super tired. Zane's playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go take a nap. So here we are, and uh, this has been a really nice, chill few days, which I've really needed. I guess tomorrow I have to go back to work, <laughs> and then uh, we'll see what, what what we do. I know we need to go to Women's and get some coffee, but it is what it is. All right, guys, so we are at one of my least favorite stores. If you know anything about me, it's that I hate grocery shopping. Okay. Pretty safe, safe thing to say. We're at Woodman's because we need to get coffee for the week and some creamer. I have nap hair. It is what it is. Also, it's, atrocious. it's not that bad. I was just being modest. Um, it is, what time is it? 7.07 .07 and it's dark out. Don't worry though, I'm wearing my sweatshirt and it's still 73 degrees on October 3rd. Oh, my hey. little kid put groceries in his car. Okay, that's super cute. He's a little super cute. Yeah. Aww. All right, let's get going. All right, let's get this stuff. And then we ordered Domino's for dinner because we didn't eat lunch today. So safe space. Are you excited to be at Woodman's? Not a day, not a dog. <laughs> 